When it comes to displaying maps on a website, site builders just want the ability to enter in an address and then have that address appear as a marker on a map. If the address functionality for your website is not complex, then you should look at the address field static map module. The module is basically an extra formatter for the address field module. You need to use both modules together, address field for storing the address and address field static map for displaying the address as a map. In this video, we'll set up both modules and see how they work. Now, it is important to note that from a data standpoint, we'll be storing the address as a postal address and not in a longitude and latitude format. If you need to convert an address to longitude and latitude coordinates, then look at GeoField and GeoCoder. Before we can begin, simply download and install Address Field, Address Field Static Map, and CTools, which is required for Address Field. The first bit of work we need to do is create an address field. We'll add this field to the article content type. So go to Structure, Content Types, and click on the Manage Fields link within the article row. Enter in address as the label, select postal address from the field type drop-down list, and dynamic address form from the widget drop-down. Click on the save field settings, and save settings. In the last part, we created a field to store an address. Now we need to configure the static map formatter for the address field. So click on the Manage Display tab and select Address Field Static Map option from the Address Format drop down list and click on Save. Click the cogwheel icon to configure the map. Using the formatter settings, you can configure the zoom level, map size, and type. The Advanced Settings block drop-down list allows you to configure a few advanced options. We'll look into these options shortly. For now, just configure the level, size, and type if you need to. Click on Update and then Save. Now go ahead and create a test piece of content to make sure everything is working. If everything has been set up properly, you should see a static map. Go to content and then click on add content and enter in an address. And there you go. The address field is now displaying a static map of the address location. You also have the ability to display the map in a block instead of just within the content area. This gives you extra flexibility on how the map will be displayed. First, we need to configure the map settings for the block. So go to configuration and click on address field static map block link. Select field underscore address from the address field option Within the address field block one field set, just change the image size to 100 by 100. If you like, also change the map type, zoom level. And once you're done, scroll to the bottom and click on save configuration. Now we'll need to place the block within a region. Go to structure and blocks and add the address field static map block to the sidebar second region. And then click on save blocks. Now if we go back to our test page, we should see a block on the right hand side. 